Do you know what sonographic signs may be associated with a full thickness tear of the rotator cuff? Here are seven sonographic signs of a full thickness rotator cuff tear on an ultrasound exam of the shoulder. Number one, any segment of the tendon with a tear that extends from the bursal to the articular surface. Number two, a cartilage interface sign also known as a double cortex sign, signifies the presence of a thin hypercoic line deep to the tendon at the interface between the hypocoic articular cartilage and the fluid present in a rotator cuff tear. This prominent hypocoic line is caused by the reflection of the sound waves at the fluid cartilage interface. Number three, herniation of the subacromial subdeltoid bursa and deltoid muscle appearing as a focal indentation of bursal fluid or fat into the tendon at the location of the defect. Number four, compressibility of the tear with transducer compression. This will cause the bursa and the cartilage surfaces to make contact during compression. Confirmation of a collapse during compression is helpful in differentiating tendon fibers from hemorrhage when the fluid contains internal echoes. Number five, tendon retraction. Visualization of a tendon stump may be seen. The distance from the retracted tendon to the insertion site should be measured when possible. Number six, cortical irregularity of the greater and lesser tuberosities are often associated with rotator cuff tears, changing the appearance of the normally smooth bone contour. Number seven, subacromial subdeltoid bursitis. Fluid may be visualized between the hyperechoic peribursal fat layers that lie between the rotator cuff tendons and the overlying deltoid muscle when bursitis is present. Hope this helps.